Welcome to our lecture online. Here we're going to do our first example where the potential step is one quarter the energy of the particle itself. So you'd say if it's equal to one quarter that a fair number of particles would be reflected and of course a greater number probably transmitted but that will not be the case because the nature of the equation it's actually going to be a very small percentage of the particles that will be reflected even if the potential step is one quarter the value of the energy of the particle. So let's work it out and see what it is. So this becomes equal to, all we have to do here is replace V by one quarter the energy. So this gives us the, the um, square root of V minus the square root of E minus one quarter E. And over here that becomes the square root of E plus the square root of E minus one quarter E. And the whole thing is squared. So this becomes equal to the square root of E minus the square root of 3 quarters E over the square root of E plus the square root of 3 quarters E. And that whole thing is squared. So now we can actually factor out a square root of E. So this becomes equal to the square root of E times 1 minus the square root of 3 quarters. And the denominator would be the square root of E times 1 plus the square root of 3 quarters. The whole thing is still squared. Of course, then you right away you can see that the square root of E cancels out. And then this becomes an easy calculation. So this becomes equal to, now it turns out that 3 quarters, take the square root of that, that's 0.75. That gives you 0.866, that's a familiar number. So let's rewrite this. So this becomes equal to 1 minus 0 0.866 divided by 1 plus 0 0.866 quantity squared, which of course will be equal to, that would be 0 0.134 divided by 1.866 squared. Of course, there's a slight Randolph error here, but we're not too concerned by that exact number. So this becomes 0.134 divided by 1.866, and then we square that, and we get actually a pretty small number. So this is equal to, this is the reflection coefficient, which means the fraction of the particles that will actually be reflected of that potential step, and it's 0 0.0052 to two decimal places, and of course that would be equal to 0 0.0, oh, not 0, 0.0, but 0 0.52%. So slightly over a half percent of the particles will be reflected of that potential step, even though the potential step is one quarter the value of the total energy. It's kind of a small number. And what we can do now is say, well, the transmission coefficient, therefore, is equal to one minus the reflection coefficient. So this would be one minus uh, 0 0.0052, which is equal to 0 0.9948 or 99.48% of the particles will be transmitted. So now we have found the reflection and the transmission for the case where the potential is one quarter the energy. Now let's see what happens when we make it one half or three quarters or a larger number and see how that percentage changes. It's kind of interesting when it's such a small percentage, even though the potential is one quarter the energy of the particle, but let's see what happens when the potential increases in the following examples. And that's how it's done. 